I was always taught in life to tell the truth and to work hard for a common good, and that's what I'm doing as mayor. It didn't take me long to figure out once I got in office that there was a movement going on and a future recall that now is here 18 months later that was rooted with a lot of negatives. One of those negatives was busting the city unions. Now it's all out in the open. Now we have to deal with the truth again. But I am more than ever uh, agreeable to staying at the table, working at the table, and we are not going to bust unions in Omaha, Nebraska. We're going to work with our unions because we can figure it out point by point and make it better for both sides. That's what we have to do. That's what collective bargaining is all about. And I will continue to reinforce that continually in my time in office. There seems to be a lot of people out there that want to do away with the collective bargaining. Well, the chamber came out yesterday and is going to go for the throat on the CIR. Their proposal? Abolish it. That's not good either. And we need the CIR in place. We may need to do some tweaking, but as I've already said, and as we had a meeting uh, last month, we will work with our unions on what is the tweaking. And we'll do that together and have some sanity to this insanity that's going on in the legislature. What do you have to say about the businessmen that you think it's a slap in the face to say all firefighters should be fired and replaced with the less expensive ones? Well, it's more than a slap of face. Let's face it, we're dealing with bullies. We're in the bully pulp. And so take three or four of them. They are bullies beyond any, any recognition. So <clears throat> they are going to continue to espouse hate and mistrust. We're really dealing with... Uh, with fear, phobias, and fictions. And that's a shame for the hardworking men and women who spend their time on the line, their lives on the line, making sure we are safe. And look at the record. No fire deaths in over two years. So my hat is off to the hardworking professionals. And we are going to continue to have top quality professionals in everything we do in public safety. I remember filming you at the uh, Code Save Survivors last February, and you know we talk about fire deaths, but also I think we had another record number of code saves, and there's some talk about trying to privatize the ambulance service. Well, I know that it came up again this week. We're not going to do that either. There are certain things that can best be done. I want to make sure we have the same service, whether you're a poor person on the north side or whether you're a wealthy person or a middle class person in, in Miller. We need the same service for all citizens. Look what we can do together. There's a lot more we can do together. And uh, I'm committed to that and I know our city unions are as well. He mentioned it on the radio that you, you and your wife were going to go out and vote and it's like, well I'm assuming he's going to vote, no. It's like, <laughs> who, are you freaking kidding me? Who, I mean, no. I can't believe you said that. Nah, I didn't, I didn't. It was on the radio. I don't listen to KFAP anymore. Yeah. Thank you, bye bye. Hi, Insane. I don't know if you're a mayor's subtle.